So, my name is Gerald Easton. I'm the one that runs the My Two Cents uh, blog page. I uh, have, for years, posted uh, a lot of things that needed more attention. Could have been assaults, rapes, child molestation, anything that just needed the public's awareness to either find more victims or to get more information in order to file charges or to move on with any proceedings and so people can get justice. Uh, in these posts that I've made on the Jackson pre, uh, sales sites, Battle Creek sales sites, uh, all over the place, I get a lot of people that tend to uh, just slander the victims uh, just blast me towards you know the poster myself the families uh, my children's been you know insulted I had this guy Jeremiah on there posting pictures of an, a neighbor's house back in the day and trying to tell people to go there like I live there like people are psychotic and it tends to be when you put these things out that, you know, are legally right, morally correct, and just the, the, the right thing to do. Uh, you'll have men, women, people that have their kids, daughters, uh, that will just stick up for these people. They won't know any facts. They, they want you to tell them every detail, like they're the detective or the prosecuting attorney or they're the jury. Uh, you know, it's about the victims and their rights, people. It's not about you. It's not about your anger. It's not about whether you believe something happened or not. Most of these things that do occur happen with people, the, the attackers, usually are people that nobody suspected. It usually isn't a guy they are like, oh, yeah, yeah, I had, I had a feeling about that guy. It's usually something like, oh, wow, I had, I had no freaking idea that that dude was like that. And that's how these guys get away with stuff for so long. They have really good defenses. They're in church. They're police officers. They're pastors. Like, we've seen it over and over again. So it's like, stop trying to defend uh, these, these pedophiles, these rapists, these criminals that have went free and attacked other people through the years. Uh, do what's right. And share, like, and, and let everybody know because public awareness is what stops these these attackers from getting your children uh, you know I, I don't get how these fathers these mothers that have kids can sit online and and question an attackers experience you know like they weren't there when they that attacker attacked somebody they weren't the victim that was there that is now telling their stories so, who are they to slander the victims and the posts and, and the people that are trying to do the right thing, seek justice, not only for themselves, but for other people that could be molested down the road or might be right now. So, you know, call me what you want. A lot of people on here call me punk ass, bitch, all this other shit, you know. I ain't no punk ass, I ain't no bitch, you know what I mean, I take care of business, and if you're offended by anything I do, it doesn't matter, if you want to show up at my door, go right ahead, it ain't going to work out well for you, I guarantee that, but I'm on here for the victims, I'm on here for finding justice so that these people don't keep assaulting other people's children, I'm on here for my children, I'm on here for the victims that's already been assaulted, and I'm on here for your children as well, so... A little more appreciation and a lot less uh, anger and insults. Um, then these things might not go unknown, like the Larry Nassar case and, and, and Lansing. Stuff goes on for way too long because so many people are in denial. Nobody speaks up and says anything. So many people just like these people. So people start speaking up, sharing the posts, and, and standing up for the victims because they're the ones that need a voice, not the child molesters. Have a good day.